Fortnite Season 8 brought along a huge update to Fortnite. There were a ton of things added. Like, it's really long, trust me. The patch notes were ridiculously long. But lucky for you guys, I read through the patch notes and I found some major key points of the new season that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. So just sit back and on to the first. The biggest change this season is the theme. Every season brings about its own unique theme and this season is no different. This season features swashbuckling pirates, a volcano, a temple, all in the spirit of adventure. Even Fish Stick has a new look. And there's a banana guy too. And a ninja. So without further ado, let's get on to the next patch. Just like every season, Epic introduces new locations. With this season, Epic introduced a volcano, a place called Sunny Steps, and a lazy lagoon. First off, we're going to be looking at the volcano. Volcano is not a named location, but it has a huge point of interest, which is the volcano vent. The place where lava erupts, like the top of the volcano, you are able to jump in and you have an effect where you can open your glider. You can use this to your advantage to sneak up on your enemies, or you can use it to even get closer to the circle. Next up on our list, we have Sunny Steps. This place has temples and all kinds of hidden places for chests. This is a really good place for materials as well, considering there are a ton of trees by it, and these temples have tons and tons of brick. Next up on the list is Lazy Lagoon. This place is a huge place. It brings lots of attention to itself with its big pirate ship and town. It also has the spawn of cannons. This is one of the only places that we currently know about that can spawn cannons. The last change for the map that we have on this list is the spawn island. Epic has never changed the spawn island except in season 8. Now it's like a tropical island. Next up on the list, we'll be looking at the battle pass for season 8. Every season brings along a battle pass with skins that you can level up and unlock. And this season brought some pretty, pretty cool skins. When you unlock the battle pass, you get two skins added to your locker, Blackheart and Hybrid. Blackheart's a pirate and Hybrid's like a ninja dude. Both these guys can be leveled up through XP and daily challenges. Next up, we have the Sidewinder skin. You get this skin once you reach level 23 of the battle pass. She is basically a female pirate skin. Personally, my favorite, Peely. You unlock this skin at level 47 of the battle pass. It's a banana, dude. Why wouldn't you like this skin? Next up on the list, we have the Ember skin. You unlock this skin at battle pass level 71. She's like a fire elf person. Next up on our list, we have the Master Key guy. You unlock him at battle pass level 87, and he has a customizable style. But, you have to reach level 99 in the battle pass to unlock his customizable style. The final skin in the battle pass, Luix. Once you reach battle pass level 100, you will unlock her, and you can get her customizable styles by outliving opponent. Next up, we'll be looking at the new items that were added into Fortnite. And this season, Epic decided to add cannons. You can push these around like shopping carts, and they shoot cannonballs. You can shoot these cannonballs at buildings, and they'll go hurtling through buildings and destroy buildings. But they will only go through a certain amount of walls or floors before blowing up. They can also hurt enemies. If an enemy is in the blast radius of the cannonball, they'll take 50 damage. But if you directly hit an enemy, it'll do 100 damage. If you want to shoot yourself out of these cannons, that is actually the alternate fire of these cannons. You can shoot yourself out of these cannons, and you'll go flying a great distance. And, on top of that, you don't take any damage, so it's a good way to get around. Along with the addition of the cannons, Epic also announced that they had vaulted the Sneaky Snowmen, Chiller Grenades, X4 Stormwing, Shopping Carts, and All-Terrain Carts. This is probably going to have a huge effect on traveling and how people are going to get around. Along with this new update, Epic reworked their world marker system, their pinging system. If you use the hot key that you use to mark things with, if you double tap it, you will send a danger version of the marker. 
If you're aiming and press the hotkey once, it'll also do the same exact thing, along with the normal ping system, where it marks things. This is kind of like the Apex Legends things, and including that, you can also mark objects. If you're looking at an item and just press the hotkey once, it'll mark it, and if you walk away from it, you can see the icon of the item. Next up on our list, I will be talking to you guys about the new things they added to Playground and Creative, some of the most loved game modes in Fortnite currently. So one of the unique things they added to Playgrounds is three hour time limit now, and when you fill, you can have up to 16 people, as you can see currently on screen. I joined a Playground with a ton of ton of people, and on top of that, it also has the featured islands, so if you need someone to play these featured islands with, just join in a playground server, join match chat, and you can chat to everybody in the server. Next up, we have the Fortnite creative billboards. They added the billboards into the game at the start of Season 8, and you can write your messages on these and change the color of the text, the size. So you can put these in your worlds and give everybody in your worlds just a little message. Maybe it may be rules, maybe it just be for fun. So yeah. Next up on our list, you can change the channels in creative now. You can set it to team, all, or none. None making it where you can't talk to anybody in game. All you can talk to everybody. And team where you can only talk to your teammates. This is a really cool feature. That's all I have to say. If you guys think there's anything that I missed or you think there's something that should have been included, comment it down below. Also, if you guys enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up on it because it really helps me out knowing that you guys want to see more of these videos and it's encouragement for me. And if you're not subscribed already, subscribe for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.